Back by popular demand, I put together a video of the lock picking lawyer's time on picking time. I just picked out a few things that I thought you guys might like. Stay tuned to the very end to hear my favorite LPL quote of the day. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy. Interesting that you mention uh, picking mortises in hand because last time I tried that, my hand that was holding the mortise was absolutely cramping up like mad. Well, back in the day, I used to be a big rock climber and I've told mm -hmm. many people that picking is especially, you know, several hour long practice sessions. It's one of the only things that can make my forearms burn as much as rock climbing did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. If you look at the uh, 40 millimeter padlock, this is actually what it was designed off of because I did so much practice picking on 40 millimeter locks like this. I okay. mean, it's meant to essentially come to the very top of the padlock and move over and just keep your hand in as comfortable a position as possible. Ooh. I mean, and that was because I spent so much time using a, a flat pry bar like this and just yeah. my hand cramping up from, well, from just being in an awkward position for you know, an hour or two at a time. So if, if you're wondering how we chose exactly where to make that bend, it was because 40 millimeter padlocks are such a uh, a common choice for practice locks. Yeah, the turn is from the Genesis. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that statement. Yeah, the Genesis ones are very universally great. I made a video a long time ago about how I practice lock picking. Mm. And it's with sets like this. Um, and I think it's it's kind of the same philosophy, but it's tricking myself into not remembering what the locks are um, yeah so if you have a bunch of locks with different bidding and you can't really tell them apart usually i keep them all the same color um you can just pick That's through them idea. and fool yourself into into not remembering the lock i mean and that's my biggest problem is you know once i pick a lock i remember it um and yeah you know, if you pick it again it's significant ease significantly easier yeah so. you got the binding order in the back of your brain yep whether you want to remember it or not yep. mm -hmm. i've said this a lot of times uh though i don't think ever on video um i don't think there's such thing as a wrong way if the lock opens you're doing it right i'm trying to think when the last time i've broken a pick was i don't think i've broken a pick since the first couple years i've um i've been picking that's, I, I think you, you learn the limits of your tools pretty quickly. I'm not jumping on that grenade. 